So just want to do some super gluing on the underside. Um, now these weapons do fit rather well actually. I mean I can sort of pop them down and they do seem to hold quite nicely. So I'm not going to go full on super glue um, with these like I would normally. Um, when it's such a good fit I don't mind coming along. We've got our Zapper Gap medium CA glue on our palette over here. Right. I like to just put a little bit in the middle, right, just a bit. This is going to be what holds this into place nicely while our Tamir Extra Fin Cement here, which I'm just going to put, you know, everywhere else basically, right, where little pegs and holes are, right, and then we're going to place this on. And what this is going to do is the main glue here I'm using is the Tamiya Extra Fin Cement but the super glue there's just a little bit there just to hold that instantly into place to allow our Tamiya Extra Fin Cement to dry this rock hard and then you really want to sort of close one eye really sort of look at it as straight as possible get that 90 degree angle so it's perfectly in place and before you know it you know you'll feel that that super glue has glued that down rather nicely and then what we want to do is just to finish it off a little bit of tamarix fin cement just to run along the the edge and that will then you know put that nicely securely onto your model and you want to do the same for the last piece which i'll do off camera um, for one of our rockets now if you remember we did sort of mark up the bottom saying which ones were left and which ones were right remember you know that little mark there what we wrote in red pen to indicate where to put it so they line up properly right once we've got that into place <coughs> you know we've got the lovely simple task then of gluing um, the last pieces basically so a little bit of ca glue on the end of this pit up tube right although actually to be totally and utterly honest with you i'm not going to do that because we do need to sort of play around with this so i'm going to go for pva um, the pva glue right and the reason for this is if i bring you in we do have to do a bit of messing about and rotating right so i've got a bit of pva glue on the end and we're just going to push this in here and we need a glue which takes a bit of time to dry to be honest with you because we do have to do a bit of maneuvering so i have um, basically just nicely sort of screwed that in for it to go in but we've got to get this sort of angle going on i could just get yeah um because what because what the instructions do tell you to do if you've brought the metal pit top tube is you've got to put a bend into it right and we've got to sort of get it so as that little tiny bend uh, hopefully i'm just seeing there is like a little bend that i'll put into this pit up tube and you want that bend you want this end bit to be straight like the rest of the aircraft so if i kind of turned it to say this the opposite way right as you can see it's like pointing down right we want it to be that bend pointing upwards basically so that we have this nice straightness to it so you know that is sort of a bit crucial to sort of try and sort out and then with the canopy um you can use super glue there's no big deal with using super glue um because we shouldn't have any kind of steaming and if we did have any of that misty effect um i probably wouldn't worry too much about that um because we can get access enough to sort of um shall we say kind of clean it up now with the canopy an open canopy like this um i know a lot of people don't like to do it for the pure fact that they are easily broken um so i suppose really the best advice is don't glue it hard shall we say you know lightly glue it so it just holds into place um, yes it might be easier to break but let's face it um, if you really solidly glued this down say you know we come along now and we put a load more um, 
super glue in there to make it really solid you knock it you're not just going to sort of um, break it off still anyway but you're probably going to do some serious damage as well by lightly gluing it into place all I've done is a bit of super glue on each one of those little tabs right yes it does mean okay I knocked this and it's probably going to break pretty easily but it's going to break quite cleanly quite nicely um, in the sense that nothing is actually broken right and that's what you want you want it so that actually nothing does break I've got um, PVA glue on my fingers hold on <coughs> yeah you want it so that it literally does black break perfectly clean it doesn't actually break the canopy or anything on the actual model so then it is just a simple case of okay we've got nothing to repair apart from a little bit of super glue and we glue it back down right that's probably the best advice I can give you is to not glue it so hard because you'll probably actually break you know probably the canopy might split or something like that so lightly glue that I'll do that off camera as well um, as well as a rocket and I think that's it um, I'll come back to you if it is or not so here we are all at the final stage we've all finished it's all done and I am really really happy with the end results um, hopefully you've enjoyed this entire build and hopefully you've learned a lot from it um, so let's just have a quick final conclusion now and bring this video build to a end so um, just quickly getting out the instructions right and just a quick quick one rundown um, you know the cockpit on this was um, really really good um, from what I could see of out of the box but we did go off and we did do um, a nice resin cockpit with photo etch and a resin seat and everything hopefully I'm just making that out there um, and it really does really look nice and tidy in there um, if I do say so myself so I'm quite happy I've gone for canopy open to show off all that stuff inside there um, really chuffed about that um, the whole build side of thing um, it really did go together with no real um, issues no fit no major fit issues no major problems you know it really did go together really really well um, beautiful surface detail as you know um, and there's so many options as well um, different bits you can put different pieces there um, I mean we all, we could have had like um, the air brakes up or down and all these kind of things I chose not to but it's really nice for all the different options plus you get so much um, photo etch with this kit out of the box as well which also you know enhances it even more um, although I did kind of go off and you know buy a load of aftermarket parts the pit up tube I do like the pit up tube going for an aftermarket pit up tube it really does look um, you know rather cool rather than the plastic um, that you get although the ones you get with a kit are just as good to be totally honest with you um, and just quickly moving along weapons i mean there are stacks of weapons that you get with this kit lots of different varieties um but you know what um edard they've released all these different weapons but in like a resin form so you can upgrade that even more if you so wished um the declan side of it there's so many um stencils to this as well as the markings which really sort of brings it out as well um and then also you get all these different markings that we've got going on here of all different sort of four stage camos natural metal finishes you know you name it you know you've you, you can pretty much um, pick anything you want as you can see a massive amount of stencils which you know as you can see we've got all sorts let's bring you in a little bit as you can see you know we've got all sorts of stencils going on all around this um i didn't put every single one down but i put a lot down to really sort of show that off um as for the markings you know i did mention that um when it comes down to the markings there are so many markings out there so much um you know research you can do into the different colors and what's the right colors and different camo patterns you know it is just um it can be quite it's, you've got a lot of variety but then it is um can get quite confusing 
trying to really sort of get it accurate but um, I think I've got it accurate as I, as, as I wanted this one to be um, and I really do recommend the Acan paints for this because they the colours I do think the colours have come out rather good by using the Acan paints um, you know especially the uh, the cockpit that is a lovely emerald green going on in there um, as well as the camo pattern which I hope you like as well um, as well as the underside colour going on underneath here as well um, as for the weathering I really did like going off and showing you um, well really sort of really weathering up an aircraft I mean you know aircraft are normally typically clean but with these Russian ones you can really get down and dirty um, we've got all all those different um, streaking effects and um, pigments and everything going on here and it really does have you know quite a bit of that grime and streaky effect on it and loads and loads of chipping which you know i really do think it gives it that russian look of being downright and dirty which is um rather cool if you ask me uh, so hopefully you know you've enjoyed this um big step by step of how to build this hopefully you've learned a lot i've enjoyed it and i love the end result which i've you know i love the model that i've got now um it is quite interesting to try something different and sort of do russian um you know because a lot of the time it's like um uk or us um, type aircrafts um, I normally do so it is quite a nice change of pace to go for something Russian and as I say the weathering's different and all that kind of stuff so yeah you know very enjoyable I hope you've enjoyed it um, so I'm just going to leave you now with some final reveal photos and videos just to sort of show this off in like a bit of a gallery kind of format so until next time uh, my name is Bobby Waldron this is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed <laughs>